Welcome into that WTOL 11 weather forecast. Meteorologist John Birchfield here with an update. You may have noticed some more gray clouds starting to roll in this evening. Hope you enjoyed the sun while it lasted, but those clouds are a sign of our next rain chance that will move in on Monday. Here's everything you need to know. The morning is going to start off with scattered showers, a few storms and heavier downpours are possible during the evening on Monday and the time frame of the heaviest rain and possible strong storms 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday evening. Doppler radar has been quiet thanks to high pressure overhead and that's what gave us that morning sunshine that was oh so nice. Look to the west of us though. In parts of Illinois and western Indiana, some light drizzle is moving on through. However, the air is relatively dry and the humidity is low, so I'm not expecting any rain until well overnight. As far as the storm threat goes on Monday, the greatest storm threat is going to be closer to the Ohio River Valley in that yellow shaded region. The green area across northern Ohio. That is only a level one out of five severe weather risk, so we could certainly see some stronger storms in that 5 to 10 p.m. time frame, but not expecting widespread severe weather. And locations in Ohio, south of the state line, have the best chance to see a couple strong storms. Here's the timing. Let's start things off late morning on Monday. That is when some showers are going to be rolling in. We're going to be looking to the southwest as a round of morning showers moves on through. That round could continue through the afternoon. Could be a few embedded thunderstorms, but not expecting severe weather with that round. It's going to be a damp, humid and dreary day. Now, as this storm system rolls in from the west, that is going to be our greatest severe risk with the potential for some strong storms due to the spinning of that system. We could see some more organized thunderstorm activity later on in the evening. Let's really hone in on the timing and the impacts of this storm system, fine tuning that detail close to home hour by hour. Again, late morning showers developing to our southwest that round of rain could continue through the afternoon with some gentle soaking rain and a couple embedded thunderstorms south of Toledo. Areas like Hancock and Wyandotte counties have the best chance to see some heavy soaking rains. Here's a look at the evening. As that low pressure moves in from the west, heavier rainfall with some evening storms will be possible, and a few of these more discrete thunderstorms could be on the stronger to borderline severe side Monday. We're going to call it a rainy day. It's going to be cooler but a little bit muggier, so there is a bit of give and take and trade off there. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s and the clouds going to be thick and dense all day long with gray skies. Heaviest rain is likely to come in the afternoon and the evening hours. Planning out your day could squeak by with dry weather for that morning commute, but by 11 a.m. Remember on the hour by hour, that's when we showed you those showers moving on through into the afternoon. Rain showers will be periodic and the best window for thunderstorms. That's going to come between 5 to 10 p.m. with a stormy evening and unsettled weather continuing until a cold front moves on through. That cold front is going to bring a much cooler setting on Tuesday. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s, lower humidity. There is still a 20% chance for lingering showers and clouds on Tuesday. It's going to feel like an early autumn day. Wednesday, we get some sunny and mild weather. Now, one thing you need to know about Wednesday is the morning is going to be cool and refreshing. We're talking morning lows in the mid 50s. The afternoon, sunny and milder with temperatures in the 80s. And Thursday, we're going to get a quick moving storm system. This will just be a very quick cold front that'll come through in the afternoon. Could see a few hours of showers and storms, not expecting severe weather with that one 10 day forecast again best chance to enjoy some dry weather is likely to be Wednesday with sunshine and mild conditions. There is a low end storm chance Thursday humidity levels briefly drop as sunshine returns Friday and as we look towards next weekend promises dry weather but temperatures cranking up by Sunday we're going to be in the upper 80s and we've been devoid of any major heat this summer but we are starting to see signs of a pattern flip that could bring us temperatures near 90 by the end of that 10 day forecast you can stay tuned to the WTOL 11 weather team for the latest 10 day.